Hello students, welcome to Swapna Physics classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain an essay question, essay question for your TS inter second year IPE physics examination. And this essay question is from Waves chapter. The essay question is from Waves chapter. Okay, and the question is explain the formation of the stationary waves in an air column enclosed in an open pipe. So what they asked us to form? Formation of the stationary waves in an air column enclosed in a open pipe. We have to consider a open pipe. What is open pipe? It's a tube opened at both the ends. It's simply a pipe which is opened at both the ends. And in this pipe air is enclosed. Air is enclosed. And we have to uh, find the formation of the stationary waves in this air column. Okay. And the question continue as derive the equations for the frequencies of harmonics produced. At what frequencies will be the harmonics produced? Let us find out. What is an harmonic actually? The frequencies in which standing waves are formed. A frequency is the gera standing waves form what in harmonics under. Okay, and let's see formation of the stationary waves formation of stationary waves stationary waves you just go through our previous lectures that is a uh, formation of stationary waves in stretched strings stretched strings if you go through that uh, lecture then you will be able to easily understand the formation of the stationary waves in open pipes okay so, how the stationary waves are standing waves formed? Let's see. I am considering a open pipe in which air is enclosed. Now, I have produced a sound wave. This sound wave is a longitudinal wave. What is a longitudinal wave? The difference between longitudinal waves and transverse waves are already explained in our previous lectures. You just go through that video. Okay. Longitudinal waves are formed due to rare fractions, rare fractions and compressions. Rare fractions and compressions. These rare fractions and compressions are nothing but there will be a pressure difference between the air molecules. Okay. Because of the pressure difference, the rare fractions and compressions are formed. And the pressure difference is due to the sound wave. It's a energy. It's a form of energy, right? It's a form of energy. Because of the energy produced by us whenever we are talking, the air molecules are disturbed in front of us. Okay? And they vibrate along the direction of the propagation of the wave. For long tunnel waves, the particle vibrates along the direction of the propagation of the wave. Okay, they are parallel to each other. The motion of the particle and the wave are parallel to each other. This is about long tunnel waves. Okay, I just uh, given a brief idea here for understanding this answer. Okay, and this sound wave travels through this open pipe. And you have to remember one point, always at the end of this open pipe, antinodes are formed. What are antinodes and nodes? Let's see, I will explain, okay. And because of the pressure difference, because of the pressure difference of the air column, what happens? This wave gets reflected at the end of this open pipe. This wave gets reflected. Okay, this is the incident and this is the reflected wave. Okay, whenever, whenever the incident and reflected wave having same, having same amplitude, amplitude, time period and with no phase difference there is no phase difference that means they are having same phase they are having 
same phase and same angular frequency angular frequency then these two rays gets superimposed superimposed means uh, the incident ray this is the incident ray superimpose this reflector ray both these rays gets a superimposed over each other okay whenever they are having same amplitude same time period same phase and same angular frequency then they superimpose each other okay and this wave and the wave after getting superimposed after superimposition of incident and reflected ray the outcome will be the standing wave or a stationary wave superimpose ayin tarvata maniki vache wave form edaithe undo danni standing wave or stationary wave antam and one more point you have to remember is for stationary waves or standing waves no energy no energy will be transformed will be transformed okay because you just observe carefully if this is the axis through which the wave is transferring the wave is traveling the wave is traveling and here you take just take any point over this axis here the particle here the particle is oscillating over its mean position with same amplitude with same amplitude at some certain time period okay and having the same phase having the same phase and will also have same angular frequency and will also have same angular frequency beyond these points beyond these points the energy will not transform because because the amplitude amplitude of this wave uh, this is a reflected wave the amplitude of reflected wave will be cancelled out by the amplitude of the incident wave therefore the energy transfer doesn't takes place in case of stationary waves okay and at where the amplitude is zero at where the amplitude is equals to zero okay the points at which the amplitude will be equals to zero are known as nodes nodes and uh, the point at which the particle is having maximum amplitude is known as anti node anti node okay this is how a stationary wave or a standing wave is formed and uh, our question is derive the equations for frequencies of the harmonics produced we have to derive the equation for frequencies at which harmonics are produced let's see first of all case 1 fundamental frequency fundamental frequency fundamental frequency r first harmonic first harmonic first harmonic is also known as fundamental frequency okay first harmonic is formed due to due to one sorry two antinodes and one node whenever a sound wave is traveling through the open pipe always at the ends of this open pipe antinodes are formed antinodes are formed and between the antinodes we will have a node okay so for first harmonic or fundamental frequency we have two antinodes and one node and what is the length of this uh, wave let's see actually for a standing wave for a standing wave r r the length between two nodes the length bet between two nodes will be always equal to lambda by 2 or the length between two antinodes the length between two antinodes will be always equal to 
lambda by 2. Here the length will be this is lambda by 4, this is lambda by 4. Okay, therefore the length is equal to lambda by 4 plus lambda by 4, which is equal to lambda by 2. This is half of the length, half of the length of a standing wave. Okay. And we have to find out the frequencies, right? I am considering this as lambda 1. For first harmonic, it will be a wavelength 1. Okay, I am just assuming. Okay. Now, frequency nu is equal to V by lambda. Here I am taking it as lambda 1 and V1. For first harmonic. Okay. Then nu 1 is equal to from this equation, lambda 1 will be equal to 2L. Lambda 1 is equal to 2L. Just substitute in this equation V by 2L. Okay. This is the first frequency. First frequency. Fundamental frequency which is known as fundamental frequency or first harmonic. First harmonic at which a standing wave is formed. And coming to the, coming to the second harmonic or first overtone. Second harmonic or first overtone. Second harmonic. Second harmonic or first overtone. Okay. And how many antinodes we required and how many nodes are formed for second harmonic? Let's see. So for first harmonic, antinodes are two and nodes are one. Okay, we need one more antinode that is two plus one. We need one more antinode and one more node, one more node for second harmonic. Okay, that means antinodes for second harmonic are three, nodes are two. Let's draw the diagram. Antinodes are three. Antinodes are three. One, two, three. Okay, these points, antinodes. And uh, at which the amplitude will be equal to zero are the nodes. Two nodes. And what is the length? Let's find out. Length here is lambda by four, and this will be lambda by four, and this will be lambda by two. Okay. Now the length L is equal to lambda by four plus lambda by two plus lambda by four which will be equal to lambda plus 2 lambda plus lambda by 4. I am taking the LCM and lambda 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 lambda by 4. Length will be 4 lambda by 4 which is equal to lambda. I am considering this as lambda 2. Okay. Now coming to the frequency. Mu 2 equals V by lambda 2 which will be equal to V by lambda 2. If you substitute this lambda 2 with L, the frequency, the frequency or second harmonic, second harmonic is formed at the frequency of V by L, where V is the velocity, L is the length of the wave and uh, this V2 is the frequency. Okay. Now, what I am doing, I am just multiplying this equation and just multiplying and dividing with the 2 okay and therefore therefore frequency nu 2 will be equal to 2 into v by 2l 2 I had taken common outside and we left with v by 2l v by 2l is nothing but nu 1 nu 1 into 2 okay therefore nu 2 is equal to Therefore, nu2 is equal to 2 nu1. Okay. This, uh, this is the point at which second harmonic is formed. This is the frequency at which second harmonic is formed. And coming to the second overtone, third case, second overtone, and 
थार्ड हारमोनिक थार्ड हारमोनिक थार्ड हारमोनिक लेट सी दिस For third harmonic, require one more antinode and one more note. One more antinode and one more note. One more antinode and one more node. Antinodes are how many antinodes? One, two, three, four. Four antinodes are formed, and three nodes are formed and the length of this waveform will be length will be and the length will be one two sorry this is lambda by two the length between two nodes will be lambda by two okay one two two lambda by four less one two two lambda by two this will be equal to two lambda plus two to the four lambda by 4 i am taking lcm okay you just derive this therefore length will be equal to 6 lambda by 4 2 to the 4 2 3 just 6 i am taking this as lambda 3 now this lambda 3 is equal to 2 into l by 3 okay now we have to find out the frequency frequency are third harmonic the frequency at which third harmonic is formed let's see v3 nu3 is equal to v by lambda 3 which is equal to v by lambda 3 is 2l by 3 okay and uh, nu3 is equal to 3 v by 2l where this v by 2l is nothing but new one therefore this new three is equal to three new one new one is equal to i am considering it as new one new two is equal to two new one and new three is equal to three new one okay so here we are ha having every freak every harmonic first harmonic second harmonic third harmonic and fourth harmonic fifth harmonic so on okay there is no harmonic is absent in this case in this open pipe okay every harmonic is formed in this organ pipe or open pipe okay and conclusion finally we conclude that we can conclude that the frequencies at, the, at which the harmonics are formed are nu1 is to nu2 is to nu3 so on it is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 3 so on in case of open pipe all the harmonics are formed write a sentence in case of open pipe all the harmonics are formed you just complete the sentence and uh, i will upload one more essay question on tomorrow from wave chapter itself for inter second year okay and i will also give you sh a very important short answer question answers list in our further lectures and please uh, like share and subscribe to my channel whoever didn't subscribe till now you just please click on the subscribe button okay bye